I miss the land where I was born. I can't help it, dum de dum de dum 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 day. Oh, New England, dum de dum de dum 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 day. Oh, New England, ride a while, man. Israel's arid plain. It's magnificent, but so's Maine. I'm talking dum de dum de dum 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 de. Oh, New England, dum de dum de dum 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 de. Oh, New England, right on. I'm the director of the New Englanders by Jeff Augustine. Um, it's a beautiful play set in New England uh, in present day, and it's about a family, a uh, mixed race queer couple raising their mixed race daughter um, in the suburbs of America and just what that experience is like. Oh, wow, that sounds like something today. It's a current play. Absolutely, yeah, very current. So, what do you want the audience to get out of this play? I'm just really excited for an audience to get to see uh, a queer couple raising a child being normal in America. That that being the where we are today in 2019, the fact that this is happening and it's an acceptable part of society and that couples like that um, worry about the same things straight couples do or white couples or any other kind of couples. So that sense of normalcy is really important to me for the audience wow. to experience. And that opening scene, you have like a black father with her black daughter in New England, you know, okay, what's happening here? <laughs> Doing her hair, you know? Maybe we, we might expect that in New York, but we wouldn't expect that in New England. So I think just like, like a reconsideration of what it means to be from this part of the country, what it means to be a citizen of this country, I think just part of Jeff's um, um, ethos is that this, like, this is what it means to be normal now. My name is Kara Young, and I am Issa in the New Englanders. Oh, wow. I heard Issa is a pretty scandalous chick there. I don't know about scandalous, definitely complicated. <laughs> I mean, scandal, maybe, maybe. I mean, you would definitely have to come check it out to see what she does and how she does it. And what's it like just to be in isolation in an all-white town? It's really the dissection of white and black America, but it's really not about race at the same time. It's just about a normal family dealing with some really unusual circumstances and a teenager who's just going through a lot. And we, we're not necessarily, we don't really know how to pinpoint the source of what the pain is, but it's so complicated being a teenager in America, and on top of that, being a black teenager, and on top of that, being a black teenager in an all-white town. Like, everyone is raising a child. Like, every person that your child comes in contact mm -hmm. with is raising mm -hmm. a child, and I feel like environment is so important, and I feel like, and I'm gonna make it quick, I promise, <laughs> but I feel like, I feel like, you know, when we're, we have to reevaluate how we're treating our black children, mm -hmm. even when we're like next to them on the subway, even when we're, we're, you know, in front of them, even when we're, like we just have to understand that we're a part of the equation. My name is uh, Patrick Breen and I'm playing Samuel Stein in the play uh, The New Englanders. And I'm uh, one of the dads in a long-term relationship. It's an uh, interracial, queer relationship. We decided to raise a daughter. Um, she's mixed race. And it's the struggles of any parent with a child who's struggling with identity and her place in uh, society, being raised in a, a mixed race household. And uh, where her- Sounds like my life. Oh, is that right? <laughs> And I think it's the, the play is just geez, communicate, you know, just talk, try to tell the truth, try to be kind to each other. It's amazing how difficult that can be sometimes when you see these characters struggling with just being able to tell the truth or, 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 or see uh, their partner or their friend or teacher or whatever as who they are. You're the other dad in the play. I am. Yes. Give us your name. And what do you think about the play so far? Uh, my name is Tegel F. Bouget, and I really dig the play. And we've been rehearsing it only for two weeks, and it's been going extremely well. Um, I didn't know anyone in the cast um, before starting. Uh, it's been cast extremely well. 
and um, I'm having a great time. I, she's in New England, and I want her to be exposed to her culture, to black people, but I'm like the only black person there. So I have questions about was it a smart thing to bring her there? There's, there are a lot of benefits she's gotten from her education and everything, but there's a lot of stuff she didn't get by not being in a mixed environment. And I feel a responsibility for that. Did I make the right choice in doing that? I play Miss Laura Sharpie, and she's a high school teacher. She's sort of um, hits a moment where maybe she isn't exactly where she wants to be in her life. We hit up against each other, and I, I fail her in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a very quick moment. It passes very quickly, but you know, why does that happen? Is it because um, I'm afraid? Is it because I'm not a good enough teacher in that moment? Is it because she's the only black student in this white school? There's a lot of questions about why that moment kind of, kind of happens. And for me, that's the kind of moment that starts my journey. I'm with the very handsome Yuli. How are you doing? And who do you play in the play? I play Atlas. Yes, he uh, he is the best friend of the the main character Issa, okay. or one of the main characters, I suppose. Yes. So, what do you think about the play? What do I think about the play? I think it's I think it's really beautiful. I think it's moving. I think it's uh, to me one of the things that sticks out the most is this theme of stagnation and kind of wanting to break free of not only norms in society, but also just of, of, of your hometown, you know, wherever you might be stuck in life. Uh, yeah, I sell weed out of the Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so, I bring it, you know. My go-to is Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In any New England town, there is the Chuck E. Cheese. That's right. Dealer. Oh. I'm from I'm from Providence, Rhode Island. So oh. I, 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 yeah, reading it, reading it, it is very much you know. Jeff really does get into a good job of hitting spot on. <laughs> <laughs> of New England, yeah, it's 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 good. I kind of I, I aid and abed her in many ways. In terms of my character, I love him. He's hilarious. Oh. <laughs> he's very funny, and he's very. Uh, you know, something, and like the more we go, we went through this rehearsal process, the more I realized that he does have these these struggles just like anybody else, and he feels just as trapped and stuck in this small town. I'm here with Javier, and who do you play in the play? I play Raul Vega. Oh, wow, I saw you in Hamilton. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, that That's was pretty awesome. exciting. I saw Hamilton four times. Four, you're very lucky. I met two dads, a daughter, a teacher, and a best friend. So are you protagonist or antagonist? I am antagonist. I am here to mess things up. Oh, wow. So you're a troublemaker. Huh? <laughs> Absolutely. 100%. <laughs> That's yeah. exciting. Yeah. It's fun. I, I, I love getting to play these characters that normally people would um, have a negative reaction to and make them human and make them, you know, really show the full scope of who they are. So tell us about the play. The play is about choices. It's about living with your choices, making your choices, having peace with your choices, and, and coming face to face with the ones that uh, you regret or the ones that maybe you second guess, or maybe they just didn't work out the way you planned. And, and it's, it's- Real very, life issues. It's very real life issues. Yes, absolutely. A romantic past and history with- With Aaron, which one? With Aaron. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Who's getting group tickets now? You're getting group tickets. <laughs> Who's getting the bus? They're gonna bring the bus. <laughs> First love, actually. Wow. And and there is uh, without giving too much away, there's there's obviously a, a not working out, right? We didn't work out, and and life choices were made, and uh, for a number of reasons, Raúl comes back into uh, Aaron's life at a, at a pretty vulnerable time uh, for him and where he's at and where they're at and where the family's at um, and uh, shakes things up. Ladies and gentlemen, the cast and creative of The New Englander. Hey, this is Kara Young. I play Issa in The New Englanders by Jeff Augustin. And by the way, it's been great to hang out with Donna Briggs and Deep Briggs Media. 
Hi, I'm Sahim Ali, the director of the New Englanders at Manhattan Theatre Club, played by Jeff Augustine, and it's so great to hang out here with Donna Briggs and D Briggs Media. Hi, I'm Patrick Breen. I'm playing Samuel Stein in the New Englanders at the Manhattan Theatre Club, and it has been my pleasure to hang out with Donna Briggs and D Briggs Media. I had to read it, but there it is. <laughs> hey, I'm Tegelev Bouget. I play Aaron in the New Englanders at Manhattan Theatre Club. Great hanging out with Donna Briggs at D Briggs Media. Hi, I'm Crystal Finn. I play Miss Laura Sharpie in The New Englanders. We're so happy that Donna Briggs came out from D Briggs Media. My name is Yuli Schlesinger. I am playing Atlas in The New Englanders, and I hope everyone will come see us at Manhattan Theater Club. And by the way, it's great hanging out with Donna Briggs and D Briggs Media. Javier Munoz, I'm playing Raul Vega in The New Englanders at MTC. And P.S., I loved talking with Donna Briggs and D Briggs Media. Follow me on Instagram at I am Donna Briggs underscore or Twitter Donna Briggs 10. And remember, make every day a great day. Oh, New England. Dum-de-dum-de-dum-dum-de-dum-de. Oh.